we finally have some more contemporary queer operas happening, but there's so few and far between. We're not seeing them on main stages anywhere. Look at all the major opera houses. How many of them are putting on gay operas? One of the byproducts of doing repertoire that's primarily pre-1950, 1940s, is that you're really just representing one small slice of society. Those stories actually ended up excluding you know, huge parts of our world. Um, and one of those aspects is the LGBTQ community. So it takes more independent companies to bring this to the forefront, and thank God for a company like Tapestry who are willing to do that. We as artists, we're not getting the, the venue to express that through our art. We need new works, or we need to be transforming and reimagining these old classics in order to, to, to express our truth of today. We've put together a, a program of queer-themed uh, opera and song. This is a small kind of first step in creating a platform to celebrate the stories, the creators, and the artists that uh, come from the greater community. We're finally starting to see a plethora of, of queer themed, queer composers, all of that stuff happening. I compiled a huge list of stuff that we could look at for this show. And there was just actually so much of it, we can't put it all in one show, which is great. Hopefully we'll get to do it again next year. Ideally this becomes an annual partnership where we, every June we celebrate the repertoire um, and potentially even commission new projects. based on what I wear or how I present myself, is that gonna make or break this audition? Okay, should I wear a dress for this audition? Should I present feminine and look the part? Or should I feel comfortable and actually, you know, wear a suit and feel like my voice is enough? But it's not enough, not in this industry anymore. I think one of the things that happens, uh, particularly in dance, but I also think it happens in musical theater and in opera, is that those things are coded feminine. So uh, women get to do them, because they're girly. Gay men get to do them, because they're girly. But queer women, or gay women, uh, are expected to do more masculine coded things, like sports. I've sung a lot of uh, The Queen of the Night from The Magic Flute, and have been sort of pigeonholed in performing kind of only that role. So I worked on Queen of the Night a lot, and that inspired me to uncover this persona in me, the queer of the night, and to empower myself as a queer soprano in the industry. <laughs> what would Mozart think of this? I'm sure he'd love it. I'm sure he'd love it! Exactly! There's such a variety of human expression and wanting to live your authentic self, but anytime you're squashed down, there's going to be rebellion or there's going to be tension. So. That's why we have to keep making art. Halt! Halt in the arm!